Hey, this is Stefan James coming to you guys from Athens, Greece. What's up guys? We are in Athens, Greece. We just arrived last night after we spent about two days in Dubai. We're actually supposed to be in Singapore right now, but we weren't able to make it because uh, we did not have proof of a yellow fever vaccine, which apparently is required if you're entering six days before going to Singapore from a country or airport that has a yellow fever risk. So we actually got turned down. We had to reroute. Uh, to Dubai, did some shopping there. Now we're in Athens. We're gonna go to Singapore uh, in September. But uh, yeah, right now we're pretty excited. This is uh, uh, my home country, I guess you could say. I've got a lot of family here in Greece and we've got an amazing trip planned that we're both looking forward to. It's early in the morning right now and we are going for a hike up the Acropolis and we're gonna go see the Parthenon. So. Um, what we decided to do is to do a little vlog and share with you guys the experience, uh, share with you guys the sights, and hopefully you guys can enjoy it. Welcome to the Acropolis. Way up there is the Parthenon, which is what we're going to hike up and go and see. So right here in Athens is the heart of ancient civilization. It's the beginning of a lot of democracy, philosophy, arts, theater, science, a lot has originated here in Athens and where we are right now. So pretty exciting. And uh, yeah, I always enjoy learning a lot about the history of things. So it should be a lot of fun. So this here is kind of what it looked like. They had these ancient roads and kind of like a village. And then up top of the Acropolis was the Parthenon. So way up. These chairs right here were the comfortable ones. The VIP front row compared to all the other ones. I look over there, there's that big one. Oh, yeah. Someone special. So this is what everything would have looked like right here. And they're trying to preserve everything. Look how big these stones are, guys. Like, could you imagine back then, like 2,000 plus years ago, having to build structures like this? Awesome. Amazing view, guys, here of Athens, Greece. Way up here on the Acropolis. Right here is the Parthenon. guys we're now going for dinner right now in Plaka which is a really cool neighborhood it's kind of like the old neighborhood of Athens uh, really cool streets really cool restaurants uh, really cool shops and everything so all dressed up Tatiana's looking beautiful and we're now gonna get some meat so right now we're at one of the oldest restaurants I think the oldest restaurant in Athens uh, that opened in 1898 so over a hundred years ago it's called uh, Paceras Taverna and it's right here in Plaka and it's got we're on the rooftop right now it's got amazing views so right here behind us 
is the Acropolis and the Parthenon. And then some pretty amazing views over there. And it's just sunset right now, so. Yeah, the sun so. is setting. It's gonna be a romantic moment. <laughs> Hey guys, so right now here in Athens, I'm inside Plato's Academy, who was the student of Socrates and the teacher to Aristotle. So if you're into philosophy and a lot of the, the Western uh, ideas has come here from Plato, Socrates, Aristotle. So this is a pretty special place. You know, I'm a big fan of learning from people like that and uh, throughout history that have had some really incredible ideas and, and a lot of things that has really influenced uh, society today and even my life. So I'm a huge fan and uh, gonna share with you guys some of the things that I learned here and some inspiring quotes. Plato was an Athenian philosopher, student of Socrates and the teacher of Aristotle. Here in the neighborhood where Plato founded his philosophical school, he used to walk in the sacred grove of the academy and spend the day discussing with the students and fellow philosophers about human life, the city, and the universe. So this is really interesting. So the academy here that Plato uh, founded, they really stress the importance of physical exercise as well as also developing your mind. So it says here from Plato, my fellow citizens always stress the need to cultivate both the mind and the body. My teacher Socrates used to say that the care of the soul was as important as the care of the body. Young Athenians received private education of various sorts, including reading and writing, grammar, arithmetic, poetry, and music. At the same time, we engaged in physical exercise, participating in various sporting activities such as running, the javelin, the discus, the long jump, boxing, and wrestling. So it's really fascinating how much they stress back then the importance of taking care of both your body and your mind. All right, so Tatiana's browsing through the Academy of Plato. So this would be the entrance. Well, not, not quite there. <laughs> Run Never right been the good wall. at video games. I just want to go in. Okay, let's go to the School of Philosophy. So right now Tatiana's in Plato's Academy. I would talk to Plato, maybe sit on this ledge over here, discuss <laughs> something while we listen to the water flow. It's a lot of different discussions took place here. So this area is specifically outside the city because they wanted it to be quiet, a place to What's learn. Fascinating just the importance of being out in nature. Like they would just walk around and, and discuss things and in groups and discuss philosophy and different ideas. You know, Oprah says her favorite time is when she's alone in nature, just walking around and able to like have her own thoughts. Yeah. And she's an introvert too, actually. So Aristotle was Plato's most famous student who joined the academy at the age of 17 and spent 20 years there. It is said that Plato so admired Aristotle's intellectual abilities that he used to call him the mind. But this did not prevent them from disagreeing intensely. Aristotle criticized Plato's views in his philosophical works. And then after Plato's death, Aristotle withdrew himself from the academy and he formed his own. Pretty fascinating. So in 2014, MIT declared Aristotle the most important individual in the history of mankind. Beautiful night here in Athens. We're walking around Plaka right now in the evening time. And the one cool thing here in uh, Athens and also a lot of parts of Europe is that it's so lively in the evening times. Uh, so the streets are all lit up. Uh, it's 9 o'clock at night right now. All the shops are open, all the restaurants. They have these restaurants that are... Um, kind of like on the street, which is really cool. So you can see here behind me is like a restaurant on the street. And yeah, we're gonna do a little bit of shopping, walking around, there's always, always things to do. It's very active and find a restaurant to go eat at. So we found a healthy juice spot. All the salt and juices, smoothies, and we are going to get so I'm going to get the immune system blend, vegetables. Tatiana is going to get the good powers, health juice, vegetables. So right now 
now Tatiana and I uh, made it to a lake called Vulegmeni Lake here in Athens, which is just kind of in a suburbs area, but it's a very therapeutic lake. It's known for healing properties. And uh, it's got high levels of calcium and minerals. Um, and also the temperature of the lake maintains at a really high level all year round, between 22 and 29 degrees Celsius. 29 degrees Celsius. Yeah, so it's got high levels of salt and minerals in it, so calcium, uh, carbonates, magnesium, sulfur, potassium, sodium, chloride. Uh, it also is slightly radioactive too, in a, I guess in a good way, but people come here and there's a lot of benefits to their health in terms yeah. of their skin. Um, Dermatolo dermatological and uh, gynecological d diseases it helps with. Yeah, muscles, um, yeah, arthritis, like tons of different things. So pretty cool. And look how beautiful it is. Beautiful environment. I'm going to show you guys this. But we're here for a swim and uh, yeah, it should be fun. This is the hotel gym. Pretty small. But you know what, it's got enough, enough to get a good workout in. You know, it's got a few different machines, which are okay, but cables are always great. You can do a lot with cables. And then dumbbells too, not really heavy, but you know, you can do more body weight exercises and, and uh, just kind of be creative with your workouts. Okay, it's been a long afternoon walking around Athens in the scorching sun. Feeling pretty tired right now, but still want to push myself to go to the gym. So right now I'm in the hotel gym, which is pretty cool setup right here. Um, still want to make sure that I'm consistent with my habits and making sure that I'm pushing myself in spite of feeling pretty tired right now. So I'm um, still going to get a workout in. I find even though I might be tired when I get to the gym and I start kind of getting some momentum, I do a few different sets. Uh, it changes my state. I get into a flow and then, you know, sure enough, after the workout, I'm gonna feel great. I'm gonna be really proud of myself that I pushed myself. And that's how you build your confidence and that's how you build your self-esteem. That's how you build momentum and that's how you build positive habits. So gonna get a, a workout in here, gonna work out my chest today. And uh, yeah, then I'm gonna have some protein afterwards and then might take a little bit of a nap or just kind of relax or chill a bit. And then we're probably gonna go out tonight check out uh, some different restaurants and uh, yeah, probably go to bed a little bit early tonight too because we're still pretty jet lagged too. So I wanna make sure I get a good night's sleep. We can wake up early tomorrow and have another great day. So it is our last day in Athens before we fly off to Santorini in a few hours. Uh, just doing some last minute shopping. There's a really nice Rolex that I saw yesterday that I think I'm going to buy. Um, but other than that, just been picking up a few last minute things uh, just because we don't know how the shopping will be on the islands. But uh, yeah, gonna go now and check out the watch. Okay, so I'm debating between these three watches here. This one has white gold around it. This one has diamonds inside. And this is just a standard uh, oyster perpetual. So I'm liking this one, I think. So try it on so I can okay. take a picture. The thing is, the, the, the one without the blue might actually work better with certain outfits. Go for that. I really like that one. And I like the blue face. Yes, it looks very nice on you because you're. Uh... <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> <with your eyes. laughs> yes, matches my eyes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the white gold around it. Yes. Okay. It's different. Hey, my name is Stefan James, and I want to teach you how you can build your own online business so that you can create freedom, travel the world, and do what you love. Right now, I'm coming to you guys from Athens, Greece. Follow me on Instagram for more inspiration so you can take your life to the next level.